Guys, we got all 12 Marvel Heroes of Gujitsu's. Woo! Well, you see a 13 bags here, and this one actually is a two pack. And you can see over here, we got Captain America, and then we got Spider Man. We got the one that glows in the dark. He's a radioactive Spider Man, super cool. And then we got the regular Spider Man, but he's got the spider webs inside of him as a filling. And then you got him in the two pack. And then we also have Spider Man. He's super good. And then over here, we got Venom. You get him in the two pack if you want to get both Spider Man and him. If not, you get the single pack with Venom. And then we got the Hulk, which is super cool. You have him with Orbeez. And then you have the other glow in the dark. He's Gamma Ray Hulk here. So there's only two that glow in the dark here. And then you also got the Super Goo Hulk. Woo! And then over here, you got Groot. We always root for Groot. Groot, Groot, Groot. And then you've got Iron Man. And then also super cool Black Panther. And then you got the villain here. Now he's the heaviest of all the Super Goos. You got Thanos. And you guys got to watch that because it's super cool. So what I've done here is I've taken all the individual videos that I did separately before I got the huge collection. It's all here, guys. And I'm splicing all those videos together. And you want to take a look because going through all these, super cool. Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> Hey guys, we got the brand new Gujitsu's Marvel. The comics here, it's marvelous, darling. You're simply marvelous. You'll know you look that way you do. You look marvelous. You're Marvel. And what's cool about this is, is that you've got four characters and we'll go through them. You got Spider-Man, the Hulk, and then Iron Man and Captain America. Then you have the Super Go. And they only made one of these into the ultimate here. And that was Spider-Man because, hey, I think that's everybody's favorite. Or that's what they think. But it's cool. I like it. In fact, as far as Gujitsu's go, there was only one other Super Go. And that was... Laser God. Yeah, he's the Super Go. Of course, when you push on his head, he, you know, let's take a listen. Oh, he grumbled. He had lights and everything like that. We'll see if this happens with Spider-Man here. I don't know, but let's go ahead and break this down. Let's start with the mini guys first. Eeny, mini guys, not mo, mini. Let's do, um, let's start with Iron Man. So you can see on the front of the package, we got Iron Man. You can see that he's super gooey. In fact, you can even test him by pushing your finger in there. If you can find him at the stores there, push, push, push. I'm not sure I can really feel that he's gooey, even though it says try him. It's like, uh. And then over to the side, you can see he's got his goo feeling. It just says contains goo feeling here. It doesn't really tell you, except when you squeeze them, it blows up to kind of give you an idea. And we'll do that. We'll squeeze them to find out. You can see all new to the Marvel is that they got these plastic packages. They don't come in this kind of cardboard. <sighs> Camera mom helped. They don't come in this uh, original cardboard with plastic here. They actually got them secured in the plastic. A little bit more of preservative here. The goo feelings, all preservatives. <laughs> Here we go. And then what's cool about this is, is that I'll show you on the back. It says, hey, you might want to save the package here for future preservation. And I'll go over that in just a minute, how you can preserve this, at least uh, not damage the package. So as you can see on the back for Iron Man, it says, discover a new way to play with Earth's mightiest heroes, each with unique goo feeling. Now they can squish, crunch, and stretch in a way you've never seen before. Oh. And then you can see the four that you can collect. Collect, you got Hulk, you got Spider-Man, you got Captain America, of course, besides Iron Man. And then down here, we got some mystery dudes that are coming out. When? I don't know. The first one here, if you remember from the Avengers, is Groot. And he's Groot V. We like him. And guess who the other two are? Put it in the comments below. Are you done? Because I'm about to tell you who I think they are. So I think that this is going to be... <coughs> You know, Panther. I mean, if you look really close, you can see his little horns up at the top. <laughs> Not horns, but ears. Cat ears. Eh, that kind of reminds me of that show, PJ Maxx. Looks like the kitty, doesn't he? <laughs> a little bit. And then if you look at closely, you can see his claw on the oh, right-hand side here. And so I think that's Panther. But who do you think that is? Oh, that's a big question mark right there. Okay, you ready? I'll tell you who I think it is. Dun, dun, dun. It better be Thanos. I mean, just think about it. I mean, look at that. Do you see a bald head? Any resemblance here? Well, not me. But you see the bald head here? And you see the bald head there? Yeah, you think so? And he's got big hands. And one of them is at least a glove here. So I think they're going to come out with Panther and also Thanos. Now, that would be super cool if they did. And we're just seeing the beginning of this, so awesome. So what kind of uh, feelings do you think you'll find in uh, the Black Panther? Eh, put in the comments. He's all claws. Maybe he's just a bunch of claws like rock jaw or stuff or teeth or something like that. Maybe he's got a bunch of claws. That'd be kind of cool. And then for uh, Thanos, he's a purple dude, so maybe he has purple Orbeez. No, he's got to contrast this, so we got to like get something that looks good that kind of 
flashes out. So maybe it's going to be red Orbeez. You tell Moose in the comments below what you think it is and see if they'll like go with that before they actually produce them. I don't know if they produced them yet, but these are guess who's coming. And it says coming soon. Collect them all. Awesome. I'm excited to collect them all too. And then down at the bottom here, we got some warnings here. So I'll just briefly go over just a few of them right here. So they have handling instructions. And by the handling instructions, because, you know, some people just pop these things open because they stretch them too much. Twisting the limbs while stretching may damage the character. Best kept at room temperature. Cold temperatures make it harder to stretch. <laughs> so don't be out in the Arctic in some frozen tundra trying to pull this thing. Ah. And then down at the bottom, it actually tells you a little bit more about it. So contents, one Gujitsu hero filling contents gel plastic film. So that's inside uh, our Iron Man, as opposed to our Hulk. The contents is one Gujitsu hero filling contents gel beads or beads, gel beads. It also says in the back here, it says, please retain packaging details for future reference. Colors and contents may vary latex free. Oh, that's cool. So look, you got these little two knots that you can just put your fingers above and low and just tear it, rip it open, right? Um, on either side. But uh, what I'm going to do instead of tearing this open, because I want to keep the package all nice and fancy and brand new, is that at the bottom, I'm just going to take a knife and just cut along the plastic here and just see if I can pull them out. Okay. <laughs> Don't try this at home. For you younger kids, you may not have a knife. Just go ahead and pull and tear. But I, I want to keep this. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to see if I can make an incision here. Oh, I'll just cut along. There's no dotted line. <laughs> Why does Moose make this so hard? Oh, that's looking pretty good. So far the cut is, I know it's not a huge knife, but it does the job. So I just cut the bottom and I can just, cause the packaging is so stretchable. I wonder if I could just like pull them out now. Ugh. Well, maybe not. I might have to cut everything off. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Okay, so I got that done. And then let's just see if we can pull them out. Oh, hey, that wasn't too bad. Still retain a butamus package. And then when I'm done, I can just put them back in the package, you know. It'd be great if uh, next time, Moose, if you guys went ahead and just had a Ziploc here or up at the top, that'd be cool. Where they can just like, at the bottom, wouldn't be hard, just pull it open. But then people at the store may pull it open, pull it out. Maybe not. Oh, look at it. It comes in this plastic here. Okay. Oh, look at that. See how smooth that was? Good job, Moose. <laughs> pulls out okay let's see how that works oh he's got his little laser blast oh he feels pretty cool and he stretches pretty nice and we want to see what's inside him he's got these like little like it said in the back it said it had plastic film so we're kind of looking for something that sparkles let's go ahead and squish his back and see if he sparkles oh look at that Looks like slime. That looks pretty cool, guys. Yeah, it does look like slime. It says gel. And we found out if you watch my uh, series two of Gujitsu's Wave 1 that they call it gel. But, you know, if it's slime, it's so cool. It, little tiny red dots in there. And that's probably the plastic, the little film. These little red dots, I can't tell if it's part of the body or if it's actually... Let's take a look. Well, there's that. I mean, that's pretty cool. He's all red. It's got film in there, so I assume it's just part of the goo. And I'll hold the flat. Oh, it's, it, it looks like, so it doesn't really move those red dots. It doesn't seem like it. It looks like it's just part of the, but it says it's plastic film. So I can only assume that it is. Uh, I don't know if this is going to help. I can't see. Show me. Pause the camera and then turn it around so I can see. <laughs> There's little red dots in there. It's kind of cool. His vitamins that he takes are iron. Yeah, the glitter here, and I'm not seeing anything coming off of my hands. So that's kind of, let me just, actually, it kind of does. Yeah, so I got little glitter on my fingers. I think it's just part of the gold here that's just coming off. And part of the reason is I understand it, why the other, the earlier Gujitsus don't have the, this uh, spray on it, like the paint around it, is because it rubbed off and people complained about it. And that's why they don't have it. Now they have their removable suits of apparel. If you watch my um, Series 2 Wave 1 of Gujitsus, and I like that a lot more. So, um, you know what? Moose has released this first in Canada and the United Kingdom. And you can see on the back, UK, that's where we got ours, the United Kingdom, Canada. So that's where Moose re first released it. And so I think what Moose does is they, re at different times with their with their toys, but they do release it to, to different parts of the world. And then it starts releasing up to the others. So we don't have this in the US yet. And so some of you have already wrote comments that, hey, we don't have these Gujitsus, we don't have these Treasure X or some of the things from Moose. It depends, you may be the first wave that they hit and then the US is second or the US is uh, first and then you guys get hit. So I don't know when they're gonna release these. In fact, a little bit 
a side note that they were going to start releasing these, at least the big one, the huge Spider-Man, in October in the U.S., but now that's been removed, and so I guess they have a little bit of production setback. So we'll see what happens and see if that gets back up, but for right now, that's where it stands. Um, as far as this little shooter goes, I uh, know it's just a blue dot. <laughs> I'll try to get his big hand up there. Look at that. Oh yeah, there goes the power. So there you go. You just have a seat, cross your legs, kick back, and relax. <laughs> Thanks for playing. And he doesn't stand up, but then he's in flight mode. So you got to have one leg up when you're flying. You know, you can't really be you know, standing there. up. Oh, there we go. Parents, be sure to get your kids their iron supplements so they can be like Iron Man, full of energy and strength. Not too much because you could always overdo as with anything. Okay, next, we want to do... I ah, tricked you. We're not doing these guys. We already did them. So we're doing Marvel, and the next one I want to do is Captain America or Spider-Man. Let's do Captain America. Okay, cool. There's Captain America. Okay, so Captain America, you can see down at the bottom, he's squeezable, he's huggable, he's lovable. And then for him, you can see right here, it says contains gel filling. But remember, on the back, when you turn it over, and it says the same thing on the back of every single one of these. It doesn't really explain what Captain America, who he is or anything like it did on the back of the uh, the original Gujitsus, where it says, hey, this is Blazagon. He's ready to erupt and stuff. Or, hey, this is Captain America. He's ready to toss a shield. It looks like a pancake. That's how he became Captain America. He worked at some diner and started throwing pancakes really fast. They say, you're really good. We ought to give you superpowers. We got two Captain America shields. For the ultimate one. And that is... <laughs> <laughs> it's my shield, bud. Don't get me angry. Don't get me angry. The shield's on the... And you can throw a shield. That would be deadly. Kind of looks cool, that shield on the back. I got distracted. An A-Dad moment, A-D-A-D. <laughs> so, so on the back, it just says the same thing. It just says, hey, discover a new way to play with these Earth Mightiest Heroes. And so they're stretchable. And I'll tell you that these feel a lot thicker than uh, Series 1 of Gujitsu. a lot thicker, so they're more durable. But again, it still gives you the warnings down here. It says, hey, don't keep stretching them in weird ways, <laughs> in abnormal ways. Because if you do that, they're just going to break open. Just, you know. Okay, contents one, Gujitsu hero, filling contents gel. So it is gel. So we just affirmed this gel filling. So let's go ahead and open this up. Again, I'm just going to go ahead and cut at the bottoms because I don't want to tear the tops. I want to keep the, the plastics here. And so, you know, when you guys buy one from me, I'll just put it at the bottom and say, hey, it's brand new. <laughs> it's like, then you're like, wait a second, there's tape all the way down here. You taped it up. And then you'll ask for a refund, and I'll be like, uh. Hey, don't just sit there where I'm cutting. Put in the comments below what you think of uh, Iron Man. How do you feel about his goo feelings? Now, don't put anything negative down there. You'll hurt his goo feelings. <laughs> there we go. Whew, I'm getting better at this. Hey, do you think it'll open up the same way? Two for two. Okay, look at him. Wow, he looks cool. He's got goo feelings. Whoa. I, I'm just in awe because first he feels solid, unlike wibbly wobbly. <laughs> it's like, I'll blast you, I'll blast you, I'll blast you. It's like, if you can hold it straight, not wobble, you can. Oh, he feels good. He feels good. I'm looking to shield. That is one cool thing. Shield not removable. Oh, wow. It, it just feels really cool. And it doesn't seem like it rubs off. Okay, let's do the stretchy thing. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah, that's pretty fun. I like that. Of course, a shield stretch, you can see a shield, you know, but. Uh, should we try to squeeze him and see what's inside of him? What does it say? He is stretchy. That's right, I forgot to show you. He is stretchy. So stretchy means he's got some sort of like corn syrup in him. Oh, that's my take on it. Um, it's gel filling, so it's gel. Uh, I'll try to squish him and see if I can get mm, full germs. Oh, oh Gujitsu got to do un unnatural moves anyways. Oh, I can pretzel myself. Oh, don't mess with me. I love him. And he's got that stance. He just got one foot up in the air. So he's ready to jump and hop, you know. It's hard to show you guys what it looks like inside without actually opening him up. Uh, let's see if we can just get this flashlight on him. I don't... Here, let me take a look, because I don't... Well, it kind of looks cool from this side. You want to see? Uh, I know you do. I like you. You're my neighbor. You know, Mr. Rogers, Trolley, Lady Elaine. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day in the neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Is this ringing any bells for anybody? Or is it just me? 
You gotta go take a time warp and watch Mr. Rogers. <laughs> there it is, right at the back. It's a Funko Pop, so Mr. Rogers Neighborhood. Well, I'll be glad he could stop by. But yeah, here, let's see if you guys can see anything. I'll try to get you a good view of it. Okay, you know, that's cool from what I can see, but he feels super good. I mean, he's just that, that squishy stuff. He's uh, stretchy. Ah, it's just cool. And it, it's a great decoration. Put it at your table and stuff, and you can even play. You know what he could do? High five. He goes, fist bump. <laughs> he's got to be careful, though, because he could accidentally shoot him off. Oh! <laughs> it's like, he comes running after him. Gets him with the shield because he can't take it off his back, so he throws himself. <laughs> We're getting out of hand here. And we got the two. Okay, so next, oh, let's do Spider-Man. Cool. I mean, you can tell right off the bat there's something going on with him. Now, who else in Gujitsu has spider webs in him? Do you remember? Have you watched my Gujitsu videos? If you have, you'll know the answer. Remember, it's not in Series 1, it's in Series 2, and there's only Wave 1 that's been out so far. And the one that it has, I'll give you a hint, he's not a good guy. Remember Redback? He's got spiderwebs in him too. So watch that video because when you squeeze them, the spiderwebs pop out. And so that's what you can see right here. So they use it for the uh, Redback, who is an evil dude. And so Spider-Man would have to fight him, but they'd shoot each other with the webs, you know, like Venom and stuff. They just have webs and so they're just webbing it out. I mean, that got my eye when I first saw that right off the bat. So that's super cool. And then you can see down below, he's super mushy. And then over on the other side, what does it show you there? Ah, there you go. Now you can see the webs. So when we open them up and squish them, we should see the spider webs in them, which is really cool. Let's turn it over. Again, same thing. And then just down below, it tells you right in the white lettering right here, the contents. And it says contents, uh, one Gujitsu hero, feeling contents, gel, synthetic rubber. Synthetic rubber is gonna be his little webs in there. So that's gonna be super cool. Let's take a look at that. All right, Spider-Man, he's in case. Should we let him out? Yes, let me out. Oh, here we go. Yeah, there's something a little bit odd about him, I noticed. That looks like he's got part of his hand coming undone. See that? Oh, that's not fun. And you can see at the bottom of his footies, it says UK, uh, CA for Canada, and it's 2020 the year. It feels pretty cool. I like Spider-Man, he's got his fingers up, he's got the web, uh, what is he doing? He's doing his thing, hang loose, you know, or, you know. Okay, we got all these fingers, he, he's a gangster, he's slashing his sides, run! <laughs> he's got his two fingers, what's that? Just, woo! Maybe he's flashing these guys behind him saying, hey, you know how they go, get the Huey, get the Huey, bring him in. He's telling these guys, he's like, stand back, Go, you go over here, you, and you go over here, and then he moves in, you know. Okay, so let's not mess around, let's, oh, there's his back. Right? He's got the spider on it, and he just feels like, um, just kind of squishy, actually. And he was supposed to be uh, mushy. Oh, here we go. There we go. Now, Redback had red gel or red ooze in him. Oh, that looks cool. I like that. Should we oh, listen to that? Okay, you see it right there? That's the spider web. That's what he's going to get you with. Spider Man! And the thing is, is it's just that synthetic rubber. It feels very rubbery. Huh. Feels nice. No, oh, his head does turn. So you can look behind him and you look around. Wonder if all their heads can turn. Oh, yeah, yeah, his head can turn, but oh, let's get kind of spooky. Does it pop off? Can we switch heads? Uh, this isn't a, an opening video. This may become one if I keep pulling. <laughs> so, um, does this, yeah, all their heads turn. Okay, that's cool. And then on the back of their heads, Proxy as Gothersergade. What is that? <laughs> yeah, and then it's got, so I'm trying to read, and you can't even read Spider-Man. This is so red, it blends in so well. Yeah, Proxy as the Gothersergade. Um, I just thought it had the description, like all the other Gujitsus, of what was inside of him, but it's, it's got to be something else. So that's okay. So we've got Captain America. He's looking, I'll put his head on straight. And then we got... Iron Man, Spider-Man. Oh, see, he's got his little leg up, he's jumping. He just sit down, relax. <laughs> hey, okay, this one I was looking forward to, Hulk. He just looks mean green and just ready to explode. So, if you take a look down below, he's super squishy. And then down here you can see he's got water 
bead feelings, 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 and that means Orbeez. So that's gonna be cool to look at, right? And then to get more specific on the back, of course, it's the same thing on the backs of all of them, except down below. You got the contents, one Gujitsu hero, feeling contents, gel beads. Okay, so it just reiterates, instead of water beads, it's gel beads. So let's go ahead and open him. There's a Hulk man. Oh, he's looking quite charming with the green. You see, and oh, hey, you know what? These shorts, do they look removable? Oh, no. No, they're not removable. Wats. <laughs> you can't take off his shorts like you like the other uh, garb that you can take off uh, Series 2 Wave 1 Gujitsu's here, the originals one. So that's okay. That's cool. You know, keep his pants on. That's good. And you can turn his head, right? I assume he can. Oh, if barely. I don't recommend doing it on him. It's hard. And he's got like his hair on the back. There's his back. It's kind of kind of cutting into the the uh, when you turn it. Oh, you well, can kind of look to the side. Anyways, and so there's the beads. You want to take a look? Oh, look at that. Now he's got more. Look at that. That's a lot more. Oh, that looks cool. Orbeez, green Orbeez. Ah, oh, feels really good. Let's see. Let me just get a little light. See if that helps. Mm, green caviar, lovey caviar, fish eggs. Oh, he feels good. I like him. Nice and squishy. It just goes well. That's awesome. So we got all four of them now opened up. What do you guys think so far? Really cool. So my favorite right now is Captain America as far as the colors go in the duds. That looks cool. And he feels really good. He just, uh, just feels really good, the stretchy ones. Uh, Spider-Man looks super cool. I love the webs inside of him. Um, and then Iron Man, he's, he's nice. I think my favorite right here is Hulk. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you. Oh, we can't do We got the Super Goo. We have Super Poo. I mean, Super Goo. Uh, Spider-Man. Yay! So let's take a look at him. Let's put these guys to the side because he's going to take up the whole stage here. So here we go. The big one. Now, how big is he? Eight inch large spider-man so he dwarfs this i mean just look at that whoa that is huge you can see that it says down below that he's he's uh, super stretchy and then the different little stretches and how far you can stretch him well how far can you stretch him it says stretches up to three times its size and then what about over here what kind of filling do we have it says gel filling and then we'll squeeze it to see just what it looks like and then on the back, well, it's got different pictures on the back. It says the same thing. Discover a new way to play with uh, Spider-Man with his unique goo feelings. Now he can squish, stretch, and twist in a way you've never seen before. And there you go. You got your squish, uh, twist, and stretch. So super cool. And then you've got uh, the others that you can collect that we just opened up. They're really fun. I mean, I like Marvel. I like Spider-Man, the Hulk. They're super cool. And then there's Groot. They actually have a picture of Groot there. Now look out for these new characters. And on the big Super Spider-Man, they have it there, but on the other ones that we just opened up, uh, they don't have the name, but that is Groot. And then the other two, Mysteries. Again, we think that's Panther. And then also, as we talked about, that that's Thanos, but we'll see. And then down below in that little uh, white area right there, it tells you the contents of it. And it says, one Gujitsu hero feeling contents gel. Okay, I think that's it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, you know, should we try them first? Oh, yeah, stretchy. Um, it reminds me of the same contents as uh, Captain America, who's also stretchy. It's got that same texture, that same hardness, but yet stretchable. Whoa. Okay, there we go. All right. Whoa. He's hoge. And oh, he opens up from the bottom. Oh, cool. Wow, what do you guys think of that? Is he posing? Take a picture, Mom. <laughs> It's like, Spidey, I told you once, I told you many times, take the mask off while you're sitting at the dinner table. Um, yeah. Oh, wow, see, he just kind of like melts down because he's super stretchy because the contents is just like, what's well, that gel? And so, whoa. Oh, man, he was easy to stretch. That's cool. Oh, boy. Yeah, and look at his back there. Oh, wow, talk about the splits. Can <laughs> you see the splits? There we go. Wah! In case if he has to go underneath low areas. <laughs> That's cool. And you know what? You can squeeze them, but you won't be able to see what's inside of them at all because it's so uh, dark. 
and you know you can I could try but yeah you know, light doesn't he's the black hole it doesn't escape it goes into it but doesn't come out so you can't see if he has these spider webs in them at least I don't think he does I mean how rude no um, spider webs for the big web man the webmaster here but wow but he looks cool he's fun to play with he's fun to move do his moves his things his gujitsu and you know what unlike the other ones so in series uh, two wave one they don't have any treats inside of them and as you can see well as near as i can tell they don't have any treats inside of these guys i mean well spider-man street was the web i guess and then the hulk for the hulk maybe he has a jolly rancher he's the jolly hulk <laughs> so a green jolly rancher maybe he likes that i mean who would we give a treat for uh captain america what would he chew on you know I don't know but in the comments what you think it is but anyways um yeah feels good stretchable everything so let's bring them all back here so cool i mean you can see the the different sizes here by far and this one's really cool because i like the spider webs you can see when you squish them that's fun that's awesome there you go marvel's gujitsus um they're super cool and more to come so we'll find out what kind of feelings they have in those guys when they release them but other than that Stay cool, peace out, and thanks for watching, guys. Okay, guys, we got Hulk, the super goo. Woo! I mean, look at this. This is a little Hulk. He's not a big Hulk. He's not scary. He's not spooky. But this guy, he pounds. This is what came out originally, the little Hulk, and then they super gooed him. So he's big, he's meaner, he's badder, he's greener. Ho, 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 he's a green giant. And he's cooler. So remember, in the other videos, we had the little goos. I mean, we, you see them all on the back. We had Captain America, we had Spider-Man, we had Iron Man, we have the Hulk, we had the four. And then it had some mystery ones down at the bottom here. It's like, who are these guys? Well, come to find out, when you look at the back here of the big super goo, it's revealed, guys, right there. Who are they? It's Venom and Groot and Black Panther. In fact, you know what? When they started super gooing, and I say started because I thought they were only gonna do one super goo of the superheroes, and that was Spider-Man, he got super good. He was the first super good that we got. And so I thought, okay, it's just him of the four, the original four, but now we found Hulk. And I'm like, wow, they're super gooing. I bet they're gonna super goo all of them, guys. I think the next one they're gonna super goo, um, let's see, maybe Iron Man or Captain America. I think they'll super goo all of them. That'd be super sweet, guys. And if you remember, as far as the super goo goes, the original super goo in Gujitsu wasn't the Marvel series. It was series one, the original Gujitsu's. And he has noises and sounds when you push on his head, like anybody would. Ow, ow, ow! That's cool. He lights up. He's got the Orbeez inside. Super fun. And then we went from him to the next Super Goo. And, well, okay, he's a little bit smaller, but he's the second Super Goo here that came in, in the original Gujitsus. I mean, these are the Marvel side, and these are guys are the original Gujitsus that they did. So there you go. And, of course, I got the little guys so you can see in comparison between the two. But let's go ahead and let's take a look at the front. And you can see that, well, he's large, 8 inches or 20 centimeters for you in Europe. All they got him stretching up to three times its size. And then over, you got the water bead feeling and so you know what the water bead feeling is the same as the water bead feeling here so i guess it's just bigger orbies but it'll be bigger badder squishier and stretchier that's what i want and then on the back he's smashing on a card and stuff but it says hulk is the ultimate squishy gooey hero squeeze his body and see his unique water bead feeling stretch and squish discover a new way to save the day awesome and then you got the little comic strips down at the bottom squish twist stretch <laughs> you know the old batman <laughs> And then, of course, we talked about the also available in four and a half inch, uh, but still super fun, the hero size. And it'll be super fun to get them all. And I'm looking forward to collecting them. And so there you go. Four and a half inch versus the eight inch. And then don't forget, guys, do not heat or microwave. Guys, just be safe with these things. Don't place them out in the cars where it burns up and it melts and it squishes. And it's not appropriate for their children under the age of three. Adult supervision encouraged for young children. And the maximum stretch is up to three times its length. Excessive stretching may damage the toy. You know, the original Gujitsu, you stretch them too much and they just broke and bled all over the place. Stay in the carpet. <laughs> You know, it was horrible. These ones, you know, they can still break. I mean, it's still puncturable. Any sharp object could actually puncture it or just excessive stretching. <laughs> Do not tie in knots. Oh, nah, knots. And for best performance and longevity, best kept at room temperature. Yay, all temperature. 
So let's go ahead and do this, guys. Let's open them up. Now, like I said in the, the other Gujitsus that I did, the Marvels, in this kind of packaging, you've got these little modules here that you can just pinch above and blow it and then just tear open, right? But I'm a guy who likes to preserve things. I mean, kind of a collector. And so instead of doing that, I'd rather, at the bottom, cut it open here so I can just pull them out. But in any case, you guys can go ahead, rip, tear, and cut whatever your flavor is. So let's go ahead and I got my knife. I don't recommend you doing it with the knife, but hey, it works for me. So let's go ahead and I'm just gonna cut. I'm just, oh, it just slides right there with the knife. Pretty easy. Try not to damage the package. I still like to have the pretty picture there for later use. And hopefully I can just slide it back in when I'm done. Okay, I think I can just put that away. And, oh, he's the jolly green bean man. Look at that. Oh, let's see. oh, look at that. It just slides right open there. Just easily pops right open. So you can put them back in when you're done in his nice preserved format and then just slide them back in. You may have to like do something to secure the bottom, but still, if you place it up like that, it should look pretty cool. Let's get them out. Oh man, look at that. Oh, you can see those Orbeez. Oh, he feels good. These are bigger ones. In fact, let's do the comparison here. While we got him out, let's compare him to the little dude. Okay, same thing. Cut open the bottom there. Look at this little guy. Okay, guys, take a look and see if you can tell the difference besides the size. Come on, get real. You can see his mouth. Look at his yapper. See that? His yapper's not the same. One's more of a chagrin and one's a grin. Oh, he still have purple shorts, so it looks good. And I'm gonna see if I can, oh wow, look at that. The Orbeez all dump out. There's nothing up in his hand here. So I'm gonna have to pinch it here. Oh, oh, oh. There you go, guys. Those Orbeez are totally expanded and it looks like a honeycomb, a beehive there, only green. And it feels pretty cool. And then for this guy, let me see if I can get him up. I have to squeeze him in some, oh, there you go. See the Orbeez, trying to squeeze it. Uh, they don't expand as much. And there's a lot of water in there, so it can keep their size. Cause you know, when Orbeez dehydrate, they become these teeny tiny little balls. Well, do the shorts come off? I assume if you try to pull the shorts off that it's kind of sticky. I don't know. Actually, it's kind of coming off, but I'm smelling like rubber cement there glue. Do I dare? Guys, this isn't our cutting open our gujitsu here and revealing them, but if he cuts open, uh, it looks like there was some sort of sticky substance there, you know. Huh? Well, maybe I could probably take his shorts off and maybe they just glued it with something. There's a little bit of glue on there. Oh, look, you can see more of his Orbeez there. Clearly. Oh, see that? Now, there you go. See, up here you couldn't see it as well because it's, it's not as clear. Okay, so... I don't know, guys, put in the comments below if you're having a hard time getting the, the pants off there. It looks like they were meant to come off, but then... They smell a little bit of a, like glue. They put a little rubber cement just to glue it on right there just to hold his pants on when they probably didn't have to. And we'll stretch him. Oh, see, look at that. It just, oh man, I don't want to rip him. It, it looks like it's just glued there. And if I don't do it right, he may boist. Oh, there's going to be bursting. This video will turn into an opening of the Gujitsu. <laughs> oh, it's glued. Oh, do a seat there. Okay. Okay, now you can see a lot better, guys. Look at that. Now that's cool, guys. That's awesome. Look at those monstrous Orbeez. When he's not the Hulk and he's just his normal human self, these Orbeez shrink. But when he hulks up, these Orbeez all of a sudden take on all the moisture in the air and it blows him up into this big green guy. <laughs> that's cool. Now on the back of his head, all new material content gel beads. I mean, just like, you know, you can see it right there. Water filled beads right there. So there's on the back of his head. Oh, does his head come off? No. I don't even want to try. <laughs> you can see the top of his head. He's got a little yellow plug there. So, how far does he stretch? Up to three times. Oh man, I think it, it's gone as far as it can go. Oh. Mom, dad, your whole exercise class into this. Come on, one, two, three, Pilates. Everybody grab their kujitsus. Come on, people. It's Richard Simmons all over again. Come on, move those glutes. Take your neighbor, if not moving fast enough, and doing their jumping jacks. Stretch it and pop it. I wonder if he can go as far. Woo! Wow. Now he's got some air on that one. <laughs> hey guys, now we got the new Groot, the Marvel Super Gujitsu, Groot Jitsu. 
and it's going to be exciting to open him up and you can see that he's a tree for those of you who don't know who Groot is and he's part of the Guardians of the Galaxy and he just introduced back in the late 60s where he just went around and says I am Groot start smashing and want to destroy people now he's a good Groot and good Groot we're going to find out what's inside of him and you can see at the front here that well he's got a green top I mean hey he's going to some sort of new wave uh, party he just sprayed his hair and then he's got his green knuckles you can see he's the Groot hero pack and then you can see him being squeezed he's got it looks like leaves inside of him and you can see he's super goopy and then the goo feeling yeah a little bit more definition there it looks like leaves so how is that his goo power is he like a leaf blower <laughs> And he just shoots a bunch of leaves at you. And then you can say, hey, leave me alone. Good groovy. I don't know what his group power is going to come out to be. But hey, he's got it. And he's powerful. I mean, you know, just like uh, Lord of the Rings. It's the ants. The ants. Wow, those big trees. I mean, that's where he comes from. You know, maybe he came from Lord of the Rings. He's an ant. And let's go ahead and turn it over at the back. And then look, you know what's different on the back here? I mean, you got a lot of superheroes you can collect here. In fact, the original four that came out. So remember these guys, the one that came out, the first four here. We have Captain America, the Hulk, Spider-Man. Man and Iron Man. And if you look at the back, if you recall, if you watch my video on that when we first introduced these to you guys, is that they only have four that are available. But you can see that there's, hey, mystery figures. Which one's coming out? At least with one of them. Oh, that's Groot. So who are the other two? And you see the other guy who had the bald head? I thought that that was going to be Thanos, but that was Venom. And the other one is Black Panther. There's the back of that, but compared to the back of this one. And so now you can see, hey, there's Black Panther and there's Venom and there's the other four. So cool. We're on our way to the ultimate collection of Marvel Super Gujitsus. And then guys, let's not forget that we have the Super Goo, Spider-Man. Put him right here. And then we got Super Gooed, the Hulk. He's the large one. Look, what if they super good all of them? I mean, hey, the next one probably be Iron Man, then Captain America, or there might be another super good that's coming out before these guys do. And I think I have a hunch. If this was a Scooby-Doo mystery show, I'd say, hey, let's don't have a hunch. Let's go to lunch. Like Shaggy would say, <laughs> like, let's do it, Scoob. And then as far as the description for Groot, it's not really a description here. It's just saying discover the new way to play with your favorite Marvel characters, each with a unique goo feeling. Now they can squish, crunch, and stretch in a way you have never seen before. Okay, so now with Groot, you got a total of seven to collect. And just a little bit of warning down below. Don't heat or micro wave or don't bite or pierce uh, don't leave in direct sunlight you know just keep track of things guys because if this breaks open i mean he's gonna groot all over the place and that wouldn't be fun and then important excessive stretching or abrasion may damage the toy discard a broken or ruptured character immediately and then be sure to wash your hands get it on you and then maximum stretch is up three times its length you know 20 inches or 50 centimeters excessive stretching may damage the character cool let's go ahead and open them up now for me you know because i'm a collector i'm not gonna take it where you see this little notch here we can put your finger above and below it and just tear to rip it open but instead i'm going to go ahead and cut the bottom out and pull them right out and then that way when i'm done with them i can put them back in the plastic and push them right back into the container and it looks just as good as new or keep them that way so i got my knife and uh hey maybe for groot i ought to get a hatchet hey you don't want to cut down a tree maybe his mom told me hey eat your greens or you'll become firewood someday so let's go ahead and open them up here All right, there we go. See, look at that. I still have my bag, still looks nice. And then I can just go ahead and, you know, when I'm done, put him back in the container, slide him back in. But hey, why he's out. <laughs> look at that, he's got his like green top mop. Let's go ahead and open him up. Oh yeah. Now this is Groot V. I like Groot. Oh man, he feels good. Feel that camera, mom. He feels good. We gotta let everybody else see here. He just feels good. Oh my gosh, the texture. It's unlike any of the other gujitsus that I've ever felt. And it's not actually squeezing them to feeling what's inside. It's the outside. You see the ripples? He's got muscle. Well, it's just part of the wood, you know. It feels super cool. I like that a lot. Oh my gosh. He, he's pretty little compared to the other gujitsus. I mean, he's just a tiny little Groot. He started off as a root and grew into a Groot. Well, he, look at his eyes and he looks kind of like Hmm, if I gotta fight the battle, if I gotta fight for good, I'll do it. And his head, I don't know if it turns. Eh, it's a little bit tough. It does turn, but you know, if I keep doing that, the way it's rubbing on this, I do that so many times and it's just gonna break open. But yeah, it does turn for one of those, you know, once in a while, uh, paparazzi shot. <laughs> it's like, hey. Okay, now for the ultimate stretching. Oh, wow, he does stretch. That's three times his size. 
Oh, you know what? And on the back of his head, proxy as Gothra's Gade, whatever that is, it doesn't have his ingredients. I mean, here on the package, it just says contains goo filling. You know, on the back of all these heads, he'll say something, but you know, what is Gothra's Gate proxy thing? Gibber flu. Let's go ahead and feel and find out what actually makes it so hard inside. It looked like there's gonna be leaves in here, so let's try. Oh, look at that. Look at that, guys. Oh my goodness. Woo! <laughs> That's cool. That is sweet. This is taking Gujitsu to a whole nother level because you know what? Usually it's bones or it's skulls or teeth, but you got actually something that's green inside of them. It's leaves, guys. You know what? They ought to have two of these so they can have the green leaves and then one for the fall. Yay! Our falling Groot. Timber! And then he's got the red, oranges, and yellows for fall. And when I squish on the leaf, let me grab a leaf because is it really a plastic leaf or is it just like one of those rubber gooey leaf? Yeah, it's like a, one of those little gummy leaves. Oh no, yeah, the stem of the leaf, it's got little pointy things you can see, but that just looks like it's just something that they tore off of the manufacturing line. This of all the uh, Gujitsus is becoming one of my favorites. It feels good. His skin, the way it's textured. And so with Groot, it's like first you have the skin, which feels kind of like cool in and of itself because it's ripply and stuff. And then you get a squishy, you got the goopy feeling, and then you got the little uh, squishy leaves inside too. So look at this. I mean, the way it magnifies, it makes it look like some of those leaves are huge. Hey, this is a venture fun challenge. Let's do a blind uh, leaf count test. One, two, three. Oh, that slipped. Okay, one, two. <laughs> so guys, we thought we'd try the black light to see anything here, but you can't really see anything with the black light with the leaves, nothing pops out. But if you look at his face, he looks like he's got the chicken pox uh -huh. and his body looks more purple, not as brown, but I'm not sure how the camera's gonna pick it up. Yeah, you got these little dots on his face. He's freckled, he's freckled Groot. I mean, that was kind of cool. Sometimes it's fun to shine the black light on him to see what really pops out, but nothing too much here. Yeah, like that. Yeah, so guys, you know, you may want to get your kids to take uh, the Gujitsus to another level and use a black light and, you know, and play with him in the dark. I mean, his mask is glowing. I mean, the camera usually doesn't pick these things up as well, the black light, but in person, you know, hey, you know, at those parties, you could totally have a super goo fight out here with the way that his, like for us, we can see his uh, Spider-Man's mask just popping, just boisting. And then we can put him on Hulk. I mean, look at him. He's really turning green. Wow. I mean, you guys can have a lot of fun. Black lights can enhance it. Woo, guys, we finally got him. We completed our series here. We've got Spider-Man versus Venom, and then we got Venom, and then we got Black Panther. We got them all. In fact, quick recap, as you recall, when it came to collect the four and a half inches, the little dudes here, we got them all here. I want to show you that. So to complete the series, at least as far as we know with Moose, we actually have Iron Man. We got Groot. He was a hard one to get. I think he's still kind of hard to get. And then over here, of course, you've got Spider-Man, and then you've got Captain America, and then the Hulk. Now, this is the set here, but what I'm not sure is the complete set is the Super Goos. Now, the first Super Goo is right there with Spider-Man. And so I thought, okay, Spider-Man, he's the only Super Goo. Well, I was wrong, because now they came out with the Hulk, the next Super Goo. So are they gonna Super Goo all of these guys here? I don't know, but one I got thrown off recently by Gujitsu was Thanos. You know, think of it this way, guys. If they super goo all these, I got a lot more to collect here. And I want to show you guys these as soon as I find out. And in fact, put in the comments below if you guys find any others that have been super gooed. If they super goo all the rest, they got five more to super goo. You have, again, Iron Man, Groot, Venom, and then you got Black Panther, also Captain America, and Thanos, man. He came out of the blue. I don't know if they're going to actually go the opposite way, where now they'll shrink him down to a four and a half inch little figure. That'd be kind of weird, I guess, but hey, still be cool. I just don't know if you'd find out what we found in him so you want to watch that video guys super cool okay let's go ahead and push these two guys aside and the first ones i want to do are spider-man versus venom see at the front they got the little squishy holes you can go ahead and squish 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 squish, squish. so one is super mushy and the other one's super squishy mushy i guess squishy yeah he seems to have a little bit more flexibility in his belly let's go ahead and take a look at the back then and you can see it looks like Spider-Man's got webs in his belly as you squish him here. And then Venom, he looks like, I would guess those are black Orbeez. Spider-Man, the crime-fighting hero, is ready to protect the city with his unique goo web feeling. He can stretch, squish, and twist to battle against evil like never before. Venom is ready to take on his arch-enemy Spider-Man. With his goo-filled body, he waits to strike with a stretchy, twisting attack that only he can master. And then down below, you can see all the others you can collect. Five of them outside of the two here. But then again, you know, you can actually collect uh, Venom in the single pack, and we want to check that out. 
out. I mean, you can see right there, I don't think there's a difference, you know? And if you don't have Spider-Man, you may not want to get the single packs here. Maybe you'll save a little bit more just by getting them in the two packs here. And it says, collect them all subject to availability. Wow, have we found out about that, guys? We have been subjected, subjecting ourselves to this availability by checking all the sites going, where are they? Where can we find them? Groot, boy, that was tough. So I'm glad we were able to get all of them so we can show you guys. And then finally, the warning, don't heat or microwave, don't bite or pierce. I mean, tempting to bite something gooey, you know, like kids when they're teething <laughs> and they just bite down on those things, you know, because their teeth hurt. Well, if your teeth hurt, then get some gum. Hey, that works. That's kind of gooey. Excessive stretching or abrasion may damage the toys. So if you just keep pulling it and yanking it day after day, you know, it wears out. Do not twist when stretching or twist over one rotation to avoid damage. So you twist them too many times, you tie them into knots, you're just breaking all the rules, guys. Follow the rules and you'll have a toy that will last longer. So let's go ahead and open them up. Of course, you got this little divot there that you can pinch above and below and just tear it. But hey, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and open it at the bottom, save myself a pretty package, and then that way I can store and put them back in the package. And it'd be cool if Moose actually had a little Ziploc. Zip! Then pull them out and zip, put them back in. I mean, you know, so you can put them on display when you're not playing with them. So I've got my Swiss knife, and I'm just going to go ahead and cut here. Yeah, make sure your knife isn't dull. Hey, nothing dull about adventure fun. Yay! Oh, let's not yay that with the knife open. Okay. Oh, there we go, guys. Oh, super cool. Man, Venom's got a huge back. He's all muscular, I guess. Well, it's all the black goos that's strapping around him to, like, force him into some brain control, but it gives him power, too. He's got goo not only on the inside, but the outside. He's a double goo guy. I mean, wouldn't it be cool if you open him up and you felt him and he's all gooey on the outside and slimy because, you know, that's the Venom part that's controlling him. And you just slide him back in when you're done, but let's go ahead and open him up. Spider-Man. Oh, look at that, man. He's just got his little thing. He's swinging around. He's got his like, hey, hang out, Hawaii. That's where he's going. Hey, people go to Disneyland, he goes to Hawaii. And then on the back, it says all new material, contents, gel, synthetic rubber. Let's take this and squish him. Oh, look at that. That is cool looking. I love his gel. It's blue and he's got his spider webs in there. Here's the other thing. In series one of Gujitsu, when they first put it out, if you want to watch that, the 15 Heroes of Gujitsu includes the Ultra Rare, which is Frostbite. Their paint that they put on started to rub off. I don't know if this is going to be different. This is going to wear off. And so you can see that when I stretch it, so I can see his goo fillings, which oh, it feels super good. It starts to kind of expand there, and it looks like it may wear a little bit. So keep that in mind. But look at that. Oh, that's Budimus, his spider webs. And his spider webs, oh, if I can grab one. They are rubber, they are rubbery. That's awesome. And his head, does it turn? Oh, hey, it does, without any resistance. So you can see what's behind him, but you know, that's what a spidey sense is for. It kind of tingles, you know, it's like, woo! So he doesn't have to have, you know, eyes in the back of his head. Of course, if he was a real Spider-Man, he'd have more than two eyes, right? And as far as stretching goes, is that three times yet? Three times, three times, I'm gonna break it, I'm gonna bust. Camera mom, is that three times? Cool. I think I could flip him, actually. Oh, I get out, I get out, I get out. So yeah, I do pretty good with the stretching and no treats inside. But you want to watch my Thanos because, hey, maybe Moose is going to start putting treats inside of him. Go ahead and watch it. Find out what's inside of him. Super cool. Glad we found him. I'm going to see if I can shine the light. Okay, I'll try to stretch him out just a little bit. Ah, can you see that? That looks pretty cool. <laughs> we'll be at the Moose Testing Center here, huh? <laughs> of course, still stretch him. He hasn't broken yet. We could do a live show for you guys, you know, and just sit here. You can watch me all night. Just... If it took all night, you know, and we'll count one, two, skip a few, 44, 1,000. <laughs> and then also when it breaks, whoever guesses it wins the prize. I don't know what it is. Maybe we'll send you one of these webs in his belly here that breaks open. Here at Adventure Fun, we like to oh, try to stretch the toys. I just like to flip them if I can. Oh, that Spider-Man, he jumped, he leapt, he's gone. Okay, mom's doing her Pilates. It's not about weights, it's about stretching goos. <laughs> she, she threw the Spider-Man at me. Camera mom doesn't realize we could edit her out of here, so she's crawling <laughs> along the floor to put... <laughs> so there, I like him. Spider-Man's cool. That was fun. Okay, next let's do Venom. Oh, look at that. Venom's huge, man. Just... <laughs> He's a monster. How does Spider-Man, such a little Peter Parker, you know? Maybe you can give him a finger up the rooter. You know? It's a little bit of that martial arts, you know? You get him at the weakest point and then just give him a flip. I mean, he's big. Now for Venom, it's all new material content gel beads, which means gel B or Bs. Wait, you just stretch it. You can see the Orbeez in him. Want to see him? Oh, look at that. 
that is cool. Black Orbeez, guys. That's awesome. That's cool. Here, let me get the flashlight. Oh, yeah. It, I don't know, guys. I think they're black, but in some parts of the light, almost tricks me to a little bit purple, but I think it's all black. Oh, does his head turn? Yeah, turns really well. His tongue. He's just kind of a rabid dog there. He's possessed and stuff with that thing that just gives him superpowers, but he just doesn't have a mind of his own. Venom, 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 do you think it's going to be a difference? I don't, you know. There's the front of the package. If you do go for the single packages here, guys, that he's super squishy. He's got the black beads. I don't think there's going to be anything different. So let's go ahead and just open him up. I know, it's probably going to be the same, but hey, that's what we do. We investigate. We want to make sure. So here we go, guys. And there he is, two Venoms. Boy, Spider-Man's got double the trouble. Exactly the same, right guys? Pick what you want. If you can get the two packs, I think you might save a little bit or it might be a lot less to get him uh, separately, to get Venom by himself. You know, unless he's kind of a rare one to find. It may be easier to actually find him in the two packs than they are in the single packs, at least it was for us. I mean, let us know what you guys find. Uh, I'd say he might be able to stretch a little bit, well, he's got more to stretch. Uh, he's a little bit tighter. I feel like I'd break Spider-Man. He's just a small little dude. Venom, boy, he can really put on the show here. Hey, we flip every Gujitsu. That's what we do at Adventure Fun. Uh, let's see if I can flip him farther. Oh. <laughs> that was payback for Camera Mom tossing that at me. I'm glad I got one because Camera Mom's sitting there playing with Venom there. She's squishing him. Uh, he doesn't flip as far. He's got a bigger body to flip. He doesn't, you know, capring as far. Oh, Spider-Man, he compwings. You know, I sound like Elmer Fudd. Uh, very compwingy. Uh... One of my favorites, Black Panther. I mean, this guy's just out of control, you know. He's just got limbs that are loose, and he's got claws that can like, scratch, and ow. Now, I'm really curious to find out what his goo feeling is. So we got, you know, spider webs in a blue gel, and then we got him with Black Orbeez, our Venom. We'll go ahead and take a look. And does he have a little belly to squish? Oh, he does. It just reminds me of Poppin' Fresh. Poke him in the belly. You know, Pillsbury Doughboy. Ah! You always poke his belly. Why do you think he has a dough belly? He feels... Yes, uh, Moose took the words right out of my mouth. I think he's gooey. The Black Panther, you can see when he's squished there, contains metallic goo feeling. That'd be really super cool to see what that metallic feeling looks like. I mean, it's purple. That looks fun. And then on the back, like I said, it's no different there. And it just says the same thing about Black Panther. Discover a new way to play with your favorite uh, Marvel characters. The other ones you can collect, the other six. So let's go ahead and open them up here. Oh, he looks cool. Wow, let's see, let's stretch him. Uh, you know what, I just really want to squeeze him because I, oh, there you go. That's cool, guys, look at that. Oh, he's purple, and it looks like it's kind of glittery. It's metallic goo. Does it look metallic to you guys? Yeah, there's some uh, reflection off of that. It's not just simple purple ooze. It's actually glittery, metallic-y, if you will. That's cool, guys. I love that purple filling. His hands make it easier for me to put my thumb in there so I can go ahead and give him a kapwing. You know, Spider-Man, I think, goes the furthest. You know, with all his muscle, it just slows him down. He can't kapwing that. He just like, he just drops. But Black Panther, he does really well. So there you go. We got purple, we got blue, and we got black. So guys, put in the comments below, who's your favorite? I'm kind of leaning towards Black Panther out of Venom in him. I mean, hey, Venom's evil because of his purple goo. But Venom feels good because of the Orbeez. But for the double delight, not only in color when you squeeze them with the blue feeling, you also got some cool little artifacts in there. And it's rubbery too. Awesome. Woo! We finally got the ultimate super goo. We got Thanos. Yeah, two fists up. <laughs> It's all about the glove. I mean, Michael Jackson's about the glove, but no, he's really got some power in this glove. He can do it in the snap and then you're gone. And what's exciting is that he's got almost everything, not just the glove, but man, you gotta check out his goo. In fact, let's check him out. You can see at the front here, he's the large super goo Thanos, eight inches, not four and a half, like the other ones that we saw in the Marvel Hero series. And you can see that he stretches up to three times its size. They got him twisting and stretching and turning and then his gel fillings. It looks like he got some Orbeez in there and it kind of is glittery too. Awesome super cool and it says he's super stretchy and then you can poke his belly to try oh man that sinks in pretty good 
Oh, that's like, I bet this is some sort of like, because he's stretchy like the other ones, when they say they're stretchy, it's just kind of like corn syrupy. Oh man, it feels good. Well, let's flip him over to the back and take a look at the back here. Thanos is the ultimate squishy, gooey supervillain. Wearing his Infinity Gauntlet, he can stretch, twist, and squish his unique goo feeling and move in a way like never before. Now, because he couldn't move before without the goo in him, he looks cool with his gauntlet, different colored stones there. I mean, it goes well with his, his outfit. You now it's almost like a space suit. Also available, four and a half inch hero size. Uh, it says subject to availability because it seems like they've been a little bit sporadic with putting these other figures out. I know Groot was kind of hard to get. You want to watch my video on that. You got Black Panther, Hulk, Iron Man, Venom, Spider-Man, Captain America. Got your comic strips there. Squish, twist, stretch. And then down at the bottom, we got the warning. Do not heat or microwave. So guys, just take good care of you, Gajitsus. And don't eat, drink the contents. I mean, guys, if you're thirsty, go get a drink. So filler contains color which may stain some fabrics or surfaces. So if it breaks open, you want to wipe the affected area with warm, damp sponge using caution with regards to the color fastness of the material. And for best performance, longevity, best kept at room temperature. Yay! Don't freeze them and don't leave them out in the hot baking sun. So to open them up, you can see up at the top, you got these little notch. You can put your fingers above and below it and just tear back and open it up. But you know, I want to keep the packaging for reference and it's such a cool package. Instead, I'm just going to go ahead and put them over on the side and get my knife. Okay, so now I got my knife and it's a Thanos knife because it's yeller. Just making it up as I go. So let's go ahead and cut them open. Now, guys, you know, this is my thing. I don't recommend you cut open with knives. Be careful with knives. So if I cut them open right here, should be able to pull them out without damaging the plastic. Oh, that's an easy cut. I gotta be careful. If I puncture this in him, we'll have an opening, a revealing right here of his goo feelings. Ah, stain! Man, this is like tough to open. I mean, with the smaller ones, you can cut open the bottom, slide them right out, but now I'm gonna have to go above and below so we'll have no base. Okay, there we go. Not the best opening here, but hey. Oh man, and I'll tell you guys, this dude feels super heavy. I think he's the heaviest gujitsu ever. He weighs in over three pounds. I think 3.3. Let's go ahead and pull him out. Oh, he's taped. Huh. I'm noticing just on his foot, there's a little bit of yellow stain on the plastic. And so it looks like it's kind of rubbing off. Mm, I'll have to take a look at this. And let's cut the rest of the tape here. I mean, he's so heavy. If you don't tape it a lot, you'll probably you'll slide right out of the package. Put too much weight on it. Oh, you know what they did? They also bungee jumped him. I missed that right there. He's got a straps in. He's being held in by these straps. So, hey, my little Swiss Army knife has got some little cutters, little skeezers. Let's see if they'll just do the, oh yeah, something very simple. Cool, didn't have to get out my wire cutters. Oh yeah. Oh man, that guy's heavy. And now when I'm done, I can slide him back in, but man, wow, that's a goo feeling. Whoa. <laughs> That feels good. I mean, that feels goo. So they got the painted on gloves here. So that may rub off is what I saw in the plastic. You know, try to rub it, but it's not, it doesn't seem like it's coming off. And that's what the problem he had in series one with uh, Gujitsu's is that their paint rubbed off. So I'm not sure how this is gonna work if the paint's gonna really uh, stay on there. But look, there's his glove and there's his gemstones right there. You got a total of one, two, three, four, five, six. Went on his thumb. Uh, he smells a little bit rubbery. And wow, he just feels really heavy and super gooey. And oh, there's the back on his head, Gothers Gate. So I don't know what Gothers Gate is. Maybe it's kind of like Gatorade, you know, it gives him a super goo. He gets in there and these little, uh, wow. So these little glitter things in here. Wow, I wonder if there's anything else in here. In fact, I'm looking at his uh, spiffy jacket. I was just wondering if we can actually pull it off. Oh, see right there. It looks like it's rubber cemented in. And so I don't know, okay, maybe not too bad. Do I dare? Should I pull his jacket off? Oh yeah. It looks like he had a little rubber cement on the back too. So it's coming off so far so good. Pretty easy. Oh, now we can see more. Oh, hey, I can actually see little Orbeez in them. I'm feeling it and it's not an Orby, guys. It is solid. It's like a marble. Whoa, that is so cool. You guys got to take a look at this. Here, let's see if we can get a close up. In fact, I better get a flashlight so you guys can see. Oh, look at that. Oh man, he does stretch. I think that's a little bit over three times his uh, stretching capacity. Do you see those Orbeez inside of him? Well, okay, you can't see Orbeez. Cause guys, when I squish on them and I feel them, they're solid, they're hard. Oh, look at that. Purple. And look at those little glitter dots. And look inside of his little gems, oh, call them gemstones for the sake of, or just fancy marbles. Wow, that looks cool, guys. And it feels like a rock. It's hard. 
Yeah, that's totally hard, guys. It's not a Norby. They did something different this time Jiu-Jitsu did, and I like it. It's super cool. In fact, if you keep squeezing on that, you keep doing it, it thins the skin. So you could actually probably pop out if you do too much of it. So there's purple. What other colors do we have? Oh, this one's cool. I like that one. Green. I don't know. Do you think, guys, that they have all the colors like on his? So we got purple, we got green. Now we just need to find blue, red, yellow, and orange. Oh, well, he's got some more. Oh man, that is super cool. Okay, there's purple. Wait, I think I think he has all the gemstones in him, guys. This is cool. I think I found red. There, yep, there's red. <laughs> That's cool. And if you look at it inside, he's got these little air pockets, air bubbles. I don't know, take Thanos to a park and, you know, play marbles with them. You just won my gemstones. Okay, there's two more up here. It's up on his neck. Man, you really got to get in there. And I see two of them. Oh, I'm not going to get this one. Gosh, guys, this could be hard if you really want to. Okay, I, I think I got two of them here. Oh, I'm squeezing. And they're two different colors. We got orange and yellow. I think we just got all of them. I mean, so we got the purple, we got the red, we got the... Okay, hold on. Four, five, we're missing blue. Oh... One, okay, oh wait, wait, bogey, bogey, bogey. There's, it's hard to see blue and blue, but we found blue. Man, this is cool, guys. <laughs> Look at that. It's back to treat time, guys, back in series one. Go ahead and watch that, you know, with the ultra rare that I got, Frostbite. They had treats in all that series. They had popsicles, uh, wildy pops. I mean, now you're coming around, Gujitsu, you are. Now you've got, oh, I can't really call these a treats. I mean, what kind of treats would they be, guys? Would they be something like from uh, some sort of cereal? Like cereal like this, you know, maybe it's treats, like a little uh, Baby Yoda here. And his new Mandalorian cereal. Nutritious, delicious. It's got enough uh, sugar in here to just make you all feel gooed up and powered. <laughs> You're in goo power. <laughs> You're trembling from all the sugar. And his head is just like, well, oh, that's solid rock there. Um, let's see, does it twist? You can twist him a little bit, actually, guys. You know, a little bit of movement, but because of his chin, how it's hanging down, you know, the friction, it won't turn all the way. So, you know, stretch it, and then can we flick it? Oh, that almost took out the camera and broke it. We would have had to buy a new camera. We're going to take a moment here. My camera mom actually plays with the Thanos doll. Can we call it a doll? Oh, you're a doll. Did you hear that, guys? Camera mom threw that. Now that's a heavy, spicy, the meatball. Goodness, look at that. And it's just, it's just so easy. This little dud outfit kind of looks like one of those, I don't know, maitre d's or a uh, baby bib. <laughs> and we're back, guys. Gujitsu's back, woo! They're back to their toys inside. And one thing I want to do is I want to be able to show you guys with the light. Does it look cool? We'll try to do a super squeeze goo and show as many as I can. Maybe I could get all of them into one little space and I could show you guys all. I think I've gotten as many as I, I can. Okay, I've got four of the six. Oh, there's the other one. I might be able to do it, guys. Oh, usually it gets up in the... Oh, yeah, see, it's up in the neck. They all float up to the neck. It's all going to his head. That naughty Thanos. <laughs> this is like hard on my fingers. Oh, wow, that's going to pop out if I don't, like, squish it in right. Okay, guys. What do you think? Do I have all six there? Whew. I just never gave up hope. I just kept squeezing. Man, that's a workout on the wrist. Oh, wow. So there you go. There's his back. It all goes away. Oh. And guys, to keep in theme with Thanos, hey, guess what? I got the Disney Thanos sweatshirt. And then what was cool about this is I got a pocket right here. You unzip it, you stick your fingers in the pocket. You see all those gemstones here? You got yellow, orange, blue, purple. And I got this little button that when I push on it, guys, look at that. That's super cool. I mean, it's great just for a party. Okay, guys, hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and like. He agrees. If not, he's gonna snap his fingers and all of you guys are gonna disappear. Or at least I will. Thanks for watching. Okay, guys, just when I thought my Marvel collection was complete with Gujitsus, guess what? We now got two new ones. Are well, you looking at me? Oh, what's new about these? And it's like, they glow in the dark. So it's not safe to go in the dark when these guys glow in the dark from what? Spider Man is now radioactive Spider Man, and the Hulk here is now Gamma Ray Radiation Hulk. And they both glow in the dark. Super cool. Woo! -hoo! Guys, if this is it, guys, I think we completed our collection. Let's take a look at all of the ones that we've collected to date. So, guys, look at this. We think we've got the Hulk 
whole collection. I mean, this is the entire collection here, at least of the four and a half inch Gujitsus in the Marvel series. And so we got, well, Spider-Man in the two pack with Venom, and then you got Venom. And then we have, well, Spider-Man in the single pack, but he doesn't glow in the dark. But this is the only one that just came out with it that glows in the dark. And then the Hulk, you got the regular Hulk and then the glow in the dark Hulk. And then you got Groot and you got Captain America, and then you have Black Panther. Finally, we collected them all. Now, don't forget that these guys are super good. Not all of them. You got the Hulk, he's super good. And you have Spider-Man, he's super good. And we also had Thanos, and he's super good. Now, if you guys didn't watch my video on Thanos, super cool. This guy is like the heaviest super goo of all of them that we collected. Now, what's interesting about this is, guys, is if you notice a pattern, we got two Spider-Mans and we got two Hulks. Now, of the two, one of each glows in the dark, and one of each has been super gooed. You know what? Are they going to super goo all the rest, like Groot and Captain America, Black Panther, Venom? And I don't think they are. If they do, well, I'll be surprised. You know, let me know in the comments if you guys hear of anything. But other than that, I think we finally finished our collection. Woo! We finally got it. Let's take a look real quick and compare and contrast between the two. So here you got one that glows in the dark right here and the other one that doesn't. And look, you notice his shorts. Uh, Mr. Shorts over here, he's got pink and he's more purple. Don't make fun that he's wearing girly shorts. He'll pound you into the concrete. So, you know, that's okay. He's the only guy who can get away with pink shorts. <laughs> no, actually, they look really cool. I like his shorts. And then look at uh, Spider-Man. And you can tell the difference between the two. You notice just the difference just by looking at them is that their skin is different. So when they glow in the dark, like we did with the other Gujitsus way back when, Rock Jaw in those two packs that glow in the dark, you want to watch those. Those are super fun too. We found out that it was the skin that glows in the dark and not the gel filling. Camera mom was noticing their bellies here. Look at the whole he looks slim and trim and look at spider-man he's got a second roll either that's a parasite or he just had one too many donuts wouldn't that be cool if you open up kajitsu like hey i found a parasite yay look at little parasite wormy he's a friendly worm is he a round worm is he a filaria worm what kind of worm is he let's go ahead and do spider-man first so let's go ahead and take a look at the front he says he glows in the dark down the bottom he says radioactive spider-man the hero pack and he's super stretchy so when i push on his belly right here yeah he's got like when it's stretchy it's usually corn syrup so that's what i'm thinking right there and then it contains gel filling and then on the back you can see he says it glows in the dark and for radioactive spider-man help spider-man fight crime and save the night using this radioactive suit and unique gel filling see him squish stretch twist and glow in the dark as he protects the city like never before discover a new way to play night and day Woo! glow in the dark that's super cool and then you know what down below you'll see that you got unique goo fillings they include spider-man which is blue but they include the hulk which is green you can see that you got the other one that says also available to collect which is gamma ray hulk it doesn't have anybody else like these other packs guys that we had here when you got like groot on the back it shows you all the ones you can collect so that's why i'm surmising if i can use that term so loosely that these are the only two that you're going to get that glows in the dark and so i think that'll complete our collection and then you got your warning down below so parents make sure that we take a look at the warning maximum stretch up to three times the length which is about 20 inches or for europe it's 50 centimeters and then do not twist limbs when stretch or twist over one rotation to avoid damage so with spider-man again you can just for these packages gujitsu they have a little divot here that you can just go ahead and put your fingers above and blow pinch and then tear it off but i go ahead and i just cut the bottom out pull it out so i can have the package still so later i can put it back in the package and hey he looks like he's just brand new kind of a thing I like to keep the package for reference and you know what it said about it Okay, so I got my little Swiss Army knife, you know. It's great for, like, things, anything Swiss, like Swiss cheese, the Swiss Alps. You know, you got to climb up through the ice. Okay, let's go ahead and cut this open. So I'm just going to poke a hole here. Whoa, that's a little bit hard to pull out there. I guess I didn't slice it all the way. Okay, I cut it better this time. Let's do retake. Oh, <laughs> so look, package still pristine, mint condition. No pieces. No, just a few. Let's put that away. Bring him out. Oh yeah. Now you remember the Spider-Man, the one that didn't glow in the dark, he had spider webs in him. I don't think there's going to be anything inside of him. No spider webs, just gel feeling because the whole thing, the focus is on him glowing in the dark. So he's no fun during the day. Well, no, that's not true. He's super fun. Can you twist his head? Yes, you can. He looks up or he looks down. Let's see the back, Spider-Man there and just squish him. Oh yeah, he feels pretty nice. Like you said, just that corn syrup. Oh yeah, and look at that. See, when you stretch it, just that painted on stuff or that rubbery stuff, but yeah, stretching that for a while, it just seems like it's gonna rub off. But, oh yeah, and then we got our... Yeah, and then we do the Capring test. 
it goes pretty far. You know, you can't have gujitsus without doing a capring. Look, camera mom tied him into little knots before she came back to me. It said no knots. That's why we don't let camera mom play with the toys when we do this. <laughs> Cause it says specifically, no knots. Maybe a Don knots. I gotta get him out there. Look at that. He just, poor Spider-Man. I, I can't believe girls would do something like this to him. That's not the way we treat our action figures. Guys wouldn't do that. And just like, yeah, yeah, they would. to girls dolls, but the girls dolls aren't this flexible. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. So what we're going to do is we'll put him to the side, okay, guys? We'll open up our Hulk, we'll go through him, and then we'll turn the lights off and we'll see what, you know, what they look like Yay. when they glow in the dark. And so let's take a look. You see anything in there? No treats, no spider webs, nothing. He's empty, but when the night comes, drop the lights, he's radioactive. Well, radioactive spider bit him, so that would just make sense. He'd just glow. I mean, just the fact that he glows in the dark and with his enemies walking down, he's radioactive, get out of here. He wouldn't have to use his webs or anything. They just don't want to get near him because he's radioactive. In fact, do you really want to sleep with him at night next to the bed, glowing radioactive next to you? Yeah, okay. <laughs> And then we'll open up our Hulk. So, okay, first of all, you can see the front of the Hulk here. It stretches up to three times its size, glows in the dark, and it says Gamma Ray Hulk Hero Pack. Because remember, uh, the banner here, he was introduced uh, to becoming the Hulk because of too much gamma radiation. So that's why he's going to glow in the dark. And you can see he's super squishy. And the gel feeling, well, because he's super squishy, if I poke on his belly, it's just got to be some sort of like slimy, you know, it's just kind of more liquidy stuff. Not like stretchy guy where he's all like got... Oh. There goes my knuckle popping. A stretchy guy where he's got all his gel in there. In fact, on the back of his head, I wonder if it's going to say Gothers Gate. Yeah, because it's from Europe, United Kingdom. If we got this from the United States here, it would actually have gel filling and not say Gothers Gate. So now you know where I get my uh, products from. Because you know what? The UK gets a lot of the stuff first before we get here in the United States. So he goes, hey, look what's coming, guys. So hey, you want to like and subscribe so you can get notified as soon as we find out what's new. Okay, then on the back. So you see the Hulk glows in the dark and his Gamma Ray Hulk. Hulk is unstoppable. With his Gamma Ray skin and unique gel filling, he has become the ultimate squishy, gooey, glowing hero. Squeeze his body and see his filling swirl and squish. Will we really see his filling swirl? I mean, does it say on the back of this one it would swirl? No, it doesn't say swirl. So I'm kind of curious what kind of swirlies they got in them. <laughs> Um, discover a new way to play night and day. And you can see over there, you got the two unique goo fillings. So if you don't have a Hulk on the back, it shows you, you can also collect radioactive Spider-Man. So let's go ahead and open them up. I'm gonna go ahead and use my swivel knife. Oh, look at him, cool. All right, there's the Hulk. What is that? Is that shadow? I thought I saw something dark inside of him. Maybe it's got radiation! So he doesn't have duds on, it's all painted on, but he's got duds and I bet, oh, you know what? So you see his duds. So yeah, they, they put a little bit of the rubber cement on there, but if you just give it a, a big enough tug on it, you'll be able to get it off. In this case, I, I'd like to take off his duds so we can really take a look because it's supposed to swirl, right? Over in Europe, everything's Gothers Gate because you can see, look on the back, there's Gothers Gate. And there's the whole Gothers Gate. <laughs> yeah, burps. It's the gamma radiation coming up. It's like uh, Tim Conway and Don Knotts in that movie where he drank some, he thought it was tea and he drank it and it was actually what they make the ink out of, buzzard pus. <laughs> like, oh, that buzzard pus backing up again. Yeah. Oh, it does. Oh my gosh, that's so super cool. Look at that. It does swirl. Look at that, guys. Oh my gosh, it's, it looks like it's got glittery. That is super cool. Guys, I'm telling you right now, the Hulk is the one to get. I mean, Spider-Man's super cool, yeah, for the collection, but man, just on like sheer like, Wow, look at that, that is super, now that looks like real radiation floating through his body, that's gamma. Maybe he belongs to a fraternity now, Gamma Kaipa Thai. Just, I don't know these fraternities. Hey man, you're destroying our fraternity. <laughs> oh, you guys gotta see it here, let's try this. I don't know if I can do it here. Oh, look at that, look at that, you can totally see it. Pump it, pump it, pump up the volume, pump, pump, pump up the volume. <laughs> What do you got on your back? I have a tumor. That is super cool. I love the Hulk. I am very eager to really see what's inside of him. But that's a different video, okay? It's not for the squeamish. That's why we keep the video separate. For those who just want to see on the outside, have fun, we do that. And then for those who are really eager to see what's inside of him, that's what we do in another video. So let's go ahead and stretch him. He stretches pretty good. Oh. Okay, so we got to do a, a capring. Let's see how Hulk does compared to Spider-Man. <laughs> Oh, he had no lift. I'll try it again. 
Oh, he fails. It's all his muscles, you know, like on Schwarzenegger. All my muscles, I cannot go very far, you know. Like now and then subscribe later. Okay, guys, now we got to see what they look like when they glow in the dark. In fact, it'd be super cool to see what he looks like with the lights off with the swirls. But remember, I think it's the skin. So let's go ahead and take a look. So guys, we got them both here. I think we can only do one at a time because of the flashlight. So we'll do Spider-Man first and see what he looks like when he glows in the dark. Oh, that, that'll help right there, guys, if I try to shine it through because then it'll hit and it'll like juice up all his radiation here. Okay, you guys ready? In a count of three, two, one. Oh, he does glow. Did you see that on the front? Yeah. How about on the back? That looks even cool on the back with the spider. Man, should we stretch it while he's still glowing? Woo! <laughs> That's cool. Here, let me try to give him this good squeeze. Oh, yeah. So now let's do the Hulk. Let's charge him up. And let's do this. Okay, guys. In three, two, one. You know, it's really central because I couldn't get his arms. Um, Gall. It's just, it's the back. Wow. His face looks kind of creepy. <laughs> I don't know if you can see his face there, but it looks like it just those dark sockets in the green. But we're going to have to try this again, guys, because he's got so much like goo in him and stuff that only one side of his body, when you shine the light on it, actually you can see. So I'll try to do all of it. I'll just try to hit the light on all sides here. I I'm thinking right now, guys, for the daytime, the Hulk is the one to squeeze and watch. But for nighttime, Spider-Man, he's got the best glow. Let's do it. Three, two, one. He's not as glowy. Look at his face. His face looks creepy. He's got dark eye sockets. He doesn't glow as bright. You know what? I think his face actually glows. Yeah, let me take a look. I think his face actually glows. It's either that or the light's coming up through it. Yeah, let me try his face. It just doesn't seem like it's doing enough. I don't know what it is. Maybe the skin just isn't like, like Spider-Man. Yeah, look at his face. His face glows. Yeah. That is cool, guys. I like that. His face glows. You see how that spot, the glow around, just uh, below, like a baby's bib here? Yeah. It doesn't go very far. That light, as hard as I hit it, just not quite doing it. It just, I don't know what it is. Maybe too much feeling with the skin, or the skin doesn't have enough glow juice. Maybe it's just, you know, what we got. You guys put in the comments, let us know if your glow in the dark Hulk actually glows better than ours. And then when I squeeze it, here, let's do this. Squeeze it. And then let's fire it up and see if that does anything. Okay, let's Let's do this in three, two, one. Huh, not much. Yeah, look at that. That's where we shine the light on him. So again, look, we'll just keep it on for like maybe 10 seconds and see how quickly he glows. Three, two, one. Look at that. He fires up completely. He is super cool. I'm telling you, Spider-Man, he's the night crawler. He's the one that I would like around at night for glow in the dark. In fact, let's do this. Let's do the purple light thing, see if that helps. Uh, let's see, uh, there's a purple light black light. Oh, look at Spider-Man. His mug pops really well. Oh, and then look, look at the Hulk of shorts. Here, let me put it on with the shorts. I don't know, for some reason, he's starting to glow a little bit more in the face. Huh, that's weird. Oh, look at his shorts now. Mr. Pink shorts. That looks really cool. Huh, it actually glows pretty well with the black light, and it's staying longer. The black light, actually, it's kind of weird. Should we try this just for a second? Let's do 10 seconds, see how good he glows with the black light. Three, two, one. Oh man, that black light's doing something to it. I don't know what it is, but it charges up his gamma radiation just as much as Spider-Man. Would it do the same for Spider-Man? We'll do uh, 10 seconds, three, two, one. Yeah, that black light actually charges him really well. And look, the Hulk is still maintaining it a lot better than we did with the big bright flashlight. That's interesting. So if you want him to glow a little bit brighter, in fact, both of them, use the black light. If you guys have black lights at home, it seems to do really well. And not only that, but it's super cool. Let's try to put them together. So black light makes it cool and it makes him glow. Please click on one of these videos for more events and fun.